Come on in. Fly babies unite. Come on in. We got um we got question and answer day. Are you ready? Buckle up because this is going to be fun. Let's get a song playing till we can get some people in here. We'll make it a quick song. So um I think we'll do the two minute cleanup song. Utilize this time to clean off a hot spot. Hey everybody! It's a great clean song to start today. Clean up. Choose a toy, toy to pick up. up. We're done with play my toys away. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody clean up. Choose a toy to pick up. We're done with play my toys telling you let me turn that off i like that two minute song starts it's perky it's fun it's on our fly kid album it is in our digital products uh patty will put a link in here she already did she beat me to it so get on in here and our little uh devotional for today we're all in this together that on the day of the lord jesus you will Boast, let me see, I can't see the word, let me get my magnifier, you will boast of us as we will boast of you, this is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 14, it's July the 6th. We're in zone two. We're finishing up the week in zone two. And we are good to get things done. And now today's question and answer day. Let's see what else? Oh, we have a new coupon code for 40% off. And it is stay ready. Because we've been getting ready for six months. And we need to stay ready right now. We got five, four or five pages of questions. I think it's four. Um, ran out of paper. That's why I'm running late. Ran out of paper in the printer. I just need, every Friday, I just need to fill the printer up with paper. That's, that's what I'm going to start doing. I always reboot all my computers and my phones and everything on Friday. And I'm just going to start rebooting the printer with paper every Friday. That's a good thing to do. So, take a breath, Marla. Take a breath. We just had, um, Robert's gone to town to take Jimmy to town. I got Jimmy. Jimmy is bad to show up at the wrong time because he doesn't have a watch. He doesn't have a phone. Uh, he said at 1.30 in the morning, he was walking home. And everybody was standing out in the yard looking at stuff. I don't know what they were looking at. Something, something happened at 
30 in the morning. I don't know. I got to look at next door and see what was going on. He said, what was happening? He said, everybody was just standing out in the yard. And I said, I don't know. I didn't go to bed till two o'clock in the morning. I don't know what it was. And so I'm going to have to look on next door and see what happened. But I think people were praying. I think people were praying. But Hey, if they were all out praying, that's amazing. That is amazing. All up and down our road. Up and down our road. Let's see. So let's get started. Let's get started. Trying to think of something else. We've got some great sales going on. We're shipping out calendars right now. Uh, We're going to get calendars out the door. Uh, We've got a lot coming in. As soon as they can get them put together, they're having issues. But calendar doesn't start until August, and we will be good to go. The complete pack, it's $99.95. It has all the tools that can keep your home looking good. It has a calendar in it. It has Sync Reflections, my first book in it. And it is a, that, you know, the calendar and sync reflections is, you know, that in itself practically, it's just a good deal. It's a good deal. Okay, let's get started. I have heard you say you had four books. I only know of two of them. Would you name them all? Well, they're sync reflections and body clutter. That's my first two books. And then there's, um. The Chaos to Clean and 31 Easy Baby Step. That's a collaboration book with all my team. And then there is the Chaos to Clean book. That's my latest book. They're all they're all on Amazon. And this one um, we've been going through, which I need to go through right now. Day six. Let's find hot spots in your home. It's any flat surface that collects clutter and clean it off. Hot spot focus. Grab your timer, set it for two minutes, and clear off the cluttered surface. You know, our our cluttered surfaces tend to make our house look messy. So let's stay on top of those. Okay. Which of your books should I read first? Well, we're going through the Chaos to Clean book. That's a great book, but it's one day at a time. And that's hard for us. But if you'll read Sync Reflections, it'll give you an overview of our system. It really will. Question number three. My biggest problem in decluttering is figuring out what papers to keep and what papers to throw away. Well, the papers to keep are anything that anything that you deduct on your income taxes. And most papers can go away. But if you go to uh, Dave Ramsey's website, just put in Google, Dave Ramsey and what papers to keep, and it'll take you to the page. Anything that you deduct on your taxes, you've got to have proof of. Now, a lot of times now, you have to print that stuff out. Anyway, um, y'all, can you show us what the calendar looks like here? I have a hard time imagining from the website. Well, I've shown you many times, but I don't have a new calendar yet. This is this is this year's calendar. The new calendar is pink. It's sort of mauve colored. And the inside of the calendar, let me pull up July 2023. This is how big it is. I can't even get it all on the screen. It will cover up the whole. This is how big it is. And there's plenty of room. Plenty of room to write on things. So... This is a great calendar. It's a great calendar. So get it while you can take a 40% discount on it. 
you've already missed the 45% discount that we did with the pre-sale. So get your calendars ordered. But Dave Ramsey will help you figure out what to keep. But don't, you know, if you if it's in question, put it in a box. Put it in a bin if you don't know. But most everything can be thrown away because it's trash. Why would you want to keep trash? What should I have on my before bed routine? Lay my clothes out, then what? Well, you break your before bed routine down into... Mm. I hear my jingle jangle of my charm. And I'm, I'm thinking about freeing... Freeing Paul from prison, freeing the slaves. That's that's the jingle jangle of the chains holding them in, in bondage. I told Robert last night that I wanted to go see The Sound of Freedom, but it may come out in video before we know it. And Pastor Greg Locke's movie, Come Out in Jesus' Name, is now streaming on Amazon, YouTube, everywhere, everywhere. It's streaming everywhere. Started today. So what should you do about... There's there's three sections to the before bed routine. There's get the house looking good. Clean off your hot spots. Make sure the dishwasher's going or you've emptied it. Uh, make sure your sink is clean and shiny. It's making the house look good. The next part is the next part is think about tomorrow. So check your calendar. Do you have an appointment in the early morning hours? If so, write a big old note on your bathroom mirror. Set your alarm to be able to get up in time. So do this. Think about tomorrow. What are you cooking for dinner tomorrow night? Check your calendar because that's where you should write it. Check your calendar. You need to get something out of the freezer and put it in the refrigerator to thaw up before tomorrow. It's all about thinking about tomorrow. It's three parts. Get the house ready for tomorrow. Look at your schedule for tomorrow. What's, what's on the agenda? And number three is think about you. Brush your teeth. I, I, you know, I have eye drops that I put in. It's just saline eye drops. You know, I go eyes, nose, mouth. I have medications I have. Well, just it's some supplements I take before bed. And I just go. I wash my hands real good. I brush my teeth. I put my eye drops in. I take my medications. It's all about thinking about you. So the before bed routine has three parts. Get the house ready for tomorrow. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It's just clean off hot spots, empty the dishwasher. Maybe you want to take the trash out. It's real simple. Real simple. Clean off a hot spot. You're good. Lay out your clothes for tomorrow. It's... it's Think about tomorrow. What are you going to need tomorrow? Take something out of the uh, freezer. Think about tomorrow. Making it easier on yourself to do these things right now. When you can run around the house in two minutes, pick out your clothes, get something out of the freezer, and you're good to go. You're good to go. And then take care of you. Get in bed at a decent hour. I know I didn't get in bed at a decent hour last night. I didn't do it. But I was enthralled in a book, and sometimes you just need to read the book because you're going to be laying in bed thinking about it. So I just start. I just finished up my reading, and then I did my personal devotional. And evidently, I missed something outside last night. 
So y'all, three parts. Pick up your hot spots, get the dishwasher going, all those things, lay out your clothes. Think about tomorrow. Freezer, clothes, and then take care of you. Brush your hair, get your jammies on, and get in bed at a decent hour. That's what goes on at the in your before bed routine. What is a hot spot? A hot spot is any flat surface in your home that you, when you place something there before you know it, other things get placed there, and it is a burning inferno of clutter. I used to have a rocking chair that was a hot spot. Every time I come, it's a dumping ground. Every time I walked in the door, everything got put in that rocking chair. One time it turned over because I put too much stuff on the back. Just flipped right over. So, folks, clean off your hot spots. It's any place that collects clutter, papers. Your, it's where you dump your mail. One page down. Is there a good time to start Fly Lady? Right now? Now's as good a time as any. If you're not dressed to lace up shoes, go get dressed to lace up shoes. Now, I don't have on lace up shoes. I have on Velcro sandals that I can't kick off. And my feet stay cool and I'm happy. I'm really happy. It just, it helps my knee. It helps everything. These shoes are amazing. And I didn't realize how much I needed to wear these shoes with some art support in them. Right now is the best time to start. Don't wait till Monday. I know a lot of you want to binge watch videos and all kinds of things. Don't do that. Go shine your sink, get dressed to lace up shoes, and you're good to go. Listen to listen to one or two videos. Join us for tea time in the afternoon at 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock Eastern time. What brand of sandals? Hope they are um, Naoats. N-A-O-T. And they're, they're, they're nothing fancy. They're just plain. There are no strappy things. It has a strap at the toe and a strap at the ankle. And they're just not fancy. I, I've been, I've had them for 20 something years and they clean up nicely and you can get replacement footbeds for them. And they're just, the great shoes, great shoes. But they last forever. And sometimes you can find them on sale, but... Um, sometimes you can't. I got them at a local store downtown. I got them in brown and black. Y'all want to see them, don't you? I don't even know if I can get it off. That's my sandal. It's N-A-O-T. And these had brand new footbeds in them. See, the footbed just comes right out. Cork. And they do a good job. And I actually put some little rubber baby buggy bumpers right there, which make the arch support just a little bit more pronounced. And it works. I had a a foot doctor show me that once upon a time. And I had some boots made and they did about the same thing except they used a nail to do it. I'm going to put that right there. Anyway. I started wearing shoes this morning and everything seems to go much faster. It took me a long time to finally follow your advice, but now that I, I now that I see how much faster the work is going is getting done, I'm amazed. 
Can you help me to understand why this works? I can. Those shoes on your feet tell your head it's time to get something done. It's your uniform. And you're empowered by wearing those shoes. If you'll read Sync Reflections, there's, there's a testimony on Sync Reflections about a pregnant lady. And they were, they were at some get-together of the pregnant ladies in her church or whatever. And they were going around the room what one thing empowers them. And she said, my shoes. And she says, I'm, I even think I'm going to wear my shoes to give birth. <laughs> I mean, it's a funny testimonial. But shoes empower you. Guys out there, they have a pair of shoes for everything. My little uh, podcasters, they have, they have boots to go slop the hogs and to do this thing and the other thing, walk in water. They have specific shoes that they wear that they, they love for farming. But we have, we won't even buy a pair of shoes for ourselves because the kids need shoes. But you, you need, you need to clean up a pair of shoes just for you. Get in your closet and find a pair of shoes that you hadn't worn in a long time. Get them cleaned up and wear them in the house. But I want shoes I can wear outside and inside. Because I have a Roomba and I have a dust mop and I have everything I need to keep my floors looking clean. I just have to do it. But when my shoes are on my feet, I don't have any excuse. And when your shoes are on your feet, you can chase after that baby running down the driveway. We've had a testimonial like that too. Baby got out of her car seat and was running down the driveway. And mama had her shoes on. And mama was taking groceries in the house. And mama had her shoes on and could chase after that baby. But you know, we would have chased after the baby barefoot too on the gravel. We would have done it. So put your shoes on. Prove me wrong. And for those of you who say, I don't wear shoes in the house, well, then go find somebody else to follow. I don't care. I want to help you. But if you want to rebel against what has worked for millions of people, then go find somebody else to follow. But I'm here to tell you, shoes make a huge difference in your life. This question was a testimonial. I started wearing shoes in the morning and everything seems to go so much faster. Yeah, it really does. Because it will. You got your shoes on. You're ready. You're not in lounge mode without slippers on. You're not. I mean, I have a rule in our home. I don't go in the kitchen barefooted. Not that I've dropped things and broken things. It's that I have in the past. And so I, my rule is don't go in this kitchen barefoot. Now it's for me. Robert can go in the kitchen if he wants to barefooted. And if I have broke something, I will warn him that uh, I broke a glass yesterday and there could be some, but you know, I clean it up really well. This morning, Robert got a recall notice on our speaker system, our surround sound in the living room. And we had to stop what we were doing and see if we could find, he had to turn the thing upside down and get a serial number off of it. And it was a two person deal. I'm looking it up and thank the Lord ours didn't fall into that recall because it was fire. Ours didn't fit the, it was the same model, but it, the serial numbers weren't quite right. And, the do it now principle kicked in and we took care of it. And now we don't have to worry about something catching on fire. But the thing is almost 20 years old. It's 18 years old and it hadn't caught fire yet. So <clears throat> so get your shoes on. I know it's summertime. But you can wear some shoes that are cool to your feet. You can wear your sandals. You can wear your uh, Merricks or whatever. You can wear it. Tevas, 
I don't care. Strap them to your feet so you don't kick them off. But don't wear slides. Slides are dangerous. People walk out of slides. You can't run in flip-flops. Why do you think they call them flip-flops? Well, they make that awful noise. Plus, they come off your feet and they'll flip you and you'll flop on your butt. Okay. Thank you for your help in cooking and making a menu. I'm saving lots of money, but but I could use some more recipes from you because I know my family will love them. Will you be making any more cooking videos like how to cut an onion? Well, cutting is, anything is cutting. Um, there are lots of videos out there that show you how to do things. Pam, cooking with Pam uh, is, is a lovely lady and she tells you lots of tips and tricks. It's just some wonderful stuff. The main thing, we try to get out all of our our utensils, our indentured servants, when all you need is a good old sharp knife. That's all you need. Learning how to sharpen a knife, that that's a that's a good thing. You know, having a sharpening stone or a honing tool, sharpening your knife. Dull knives cut more people than sharp knives. And you just have to use the claw method and use your fronts of your fingers as a guide. In fact, I think I have a knife here. You use your fingers as a guide right here for cutting anything. And you're not going to cut your hand. Y'all didn't know I had a knife sitting here, did you? <laughs> That's one they use in horror movies. It's a good one, though. But it's not the knife I use all the time. Show us your favorite cold pasta salad. Well, it's just pasta with a green pepper, a red pepper, uh, maybe some onion in it. You can do some carrots in it. You could do some cucumbers. You could do all kinds of stuff in it. You just have to put a little mayonnaise on it. Stir it up. It's not rocket science, y'all. It's cooking. And I cook without a cookbook. I cook. I, I cook by the seat of my pants. I'm pretty much. I don't need a recipe. I can let recipes guide me. Like the other day, I made ribs and I had a little bit of syrup from the peaches. We got peaches, but they weren't ripe enough. We got peaches. And so I used a can of peaches from my pantry to make the peach gobbler that we had on the 4th of July. And I had about this much syrup and I put some barbecue sauce in it. So I had this peach flavored barbecue sauce that I just put on the ribs after they had steamed for a couple of hours and they were really good. Robert said they were good. I believe him. I thought they were good. Justin has a bunch of recipes that are, are great. He has, a, has his own playlist on, on Fly Lady. Today's Thursday. Friday is pizza day. And he, he did he has a little pizza oven that he puts on his grill and he made quiche in that the other day when they were out without electricity. They, they had to cook the quiche because it was in the freezer. They had to cook it. So sharpening knives and or, or it's a good thing. And TG said his cowboy pop taught him how to do it. I love it. I learned how a long time ago too. But Robert loves to sharpen our knives and he keeps them sharp. And he warns me when he sharpened them. But I like the base of the knife sharp right here. Right here. Especially my paring knives because I, 
I peel things there. Now you can use a, a, a vegetable peeler and that sort of thing. That's great. But, you know, it, you only got to peel one carrot. You can use the edge of a knife to do that and just scrape it. Or you can use your, uh, where is that? There it is. Let me get it. This will scrape the skin off of a carrot. This is good for cleaning potatoes, and they're on sale, 40% discount right now. So, you know, I just get a wild hair and do a video. I don't have a plan for doing videos. Sometimes I think, okay, I, I think I need to talk about this. But getting in the kitchen, I have to have a stand and do all kinds of things. And I got on a mode that one Thanksgiving in 2018, and I filmed everything. And it's a great playlist. Okay, there we go. Will you give me some tips on how to make my bedroom look inviting? Get rid of the clutter. That's the main thing. And if you got too many pillows on your bed, that just makes everything crazy. Yeah, you heard me right. You may have the pillows that you sleep on and maybe one, maybe two extra pillows, but that's it. That's it. You get too many pillows and your poor husband doesn't know what to do. He just hadn't, doesn't have a clue and he doesn't know how to turn down the bed. He doesn't know how to do anything. And it's not his fault. It's your fault because you got too many pillows. You don't need 50 million pillows on your bed. Because he's going to put them on there wrong and you're going to complain, which is stupid. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. If your husband wants to help you, keep it simple. That makes your bedroom inviting. I know you don't believe me. You're supposed to put all these pillows on your bed, and that's that's what HGTV tells you. <laughs> yes, I made somebody laugh this morning. That's good. I love it when you can laugh. You'll learn. You'll learn. I mean, when you see 10 sets of pillows on your bed to make it look pretty, it all it does is stop you from getting in it. Okay. I love my family, but see, you don't put but in after I love my family. That's just wrong. But I'm just not good at juggling everything like kids, house, shopping, menu, planning, cooking. That's just to name a few things I'm failing at. Well, you're not she said, I am failing. You're going to be failing if you say, I am failing. This is why we take things in baby steps. Am I just not meant to do this or is there something I'm missing? I feel like I'm always chasing my tail and end up with nothing done at the end of the day. Please help. Go shine your sink. Get dressed to lace up shoes. That's the starting place. You can't do it all at once. This is why we build upon our habits. We build one habit at a time. So on Fridays, we clean out our car. We clean um, out our purses. That makes your car ready to go whenever you need to jump in the car. When you're out, drop off some decluttering. You know, you feel like you're chasing your tail because you have been. You have to stop that. You're running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Uh, there's a spinning plates video on YouTube. Just some, it, it was an old time uh, show. I don't know if it was a, a um, I don't know who it was. It wasn't Red Skelton. It was um, somebody from the early 60s, late 50s. Spinning plates. On, on a, a variety show. That's, 
spinning plates, trying to keep the plates going. And, and you're running here, there, yonder, and I'm listening to my slaves are getting freed. Uh, running here, there, and yonder, trying to keep the plates spinning because you don't want them to hit the ground. Sometimes you just need to grab the plates and put them down on the ground and stop this vicious spinning of the plates and say, what do I need to do? Ben's other grandmother had a saying, and he used to quote it a lot, do the next right thing. Well, start with getting dressed to lace up shoes. Go shine your sink. Get your dishwasher going. Put a load of laundry in. And that's going to be half the battle right there. Swish and swipe your bathroom. That's our habit for this month. And you're not failing. Say that. Say, I am not failing. I just need a better way of doing things. Just a better way of doing things. And getting up before the flow of the family, you getting dressed first because you picked your clothes out. And having a day to do your menu planning. Menu planning is Tuesday. Well, Tuesday was a holiday. And if you haven't planned your menus for the rest of this week and next week, do it today. Take five minutes to write it on your calendar. Tomorrow's pizza. You can have burgers on, on, um, on Saturday. Sunday, get a chicken and... Roast a chicken or put it in your crock pot and roast a chicken or put it on your grill and roast a chicken or a turkey. That's fun too. You can make a lot of meals out of, out of a turkey. And let's get it done. Menu plan. Have a basic weekly plan to your menu. Monday's Mexican. Tuesday um, or Tuesday tacos. Taco Tuesday. Have Wednesdays, clean out your refrigerator. Use up what you got to do. So you don't put, don't make things go to waste. My granny said, any kind of food that you throw in the refrigerator, I mean, you throw out of the refrigerator into the trash can, is throwing dollar bills away. Utilize all your food. Turn up and I'm not allowed to say pizza anymore. Why not? Well, that's not fun. Everybody loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. So you're not failing. You just hadn't found Fly Lady yet. You hadn't found the way that works. Go look at Ariel, the Awkward Moms video from July the 1st. And she says on there, I'm done with Fly Lady. But she was done as if she graduated and she could go on and do her own things. But she was using the Fly Lady system to free up her day to make videos. Okay, Fly Lady, you have saved my life. I just wanted to say thank you and ask if you will have a Fly Fest again someday so that I can meet and tell you in person. Well, that's, that's something to look forward to. I don't know when we'll do it. I know that a lot of YouTube people have get-togethers and, and do things. And like they have get-togethers at Petals from the Past down in Alabama. And But that's right now I'm not traveling. And I am happy to be home. Happy to be home. Happy to be home. So... One day we'll do a fly fest again. And then a question we got today that Patty had told her that it would be on next week's stuff, but Justin sent it to me. So I think it needs to be addressed right now. I recently got a new refrigerator. Wouldn't you know it, something spilled or leaked. It got under the glass on the shelf. I immediately tried to clean it when I got home, but the glass doesn't come out to get into the crevices and the metal trim. The refrigerator manual gave me no hope. Well, you may need to look online. It has a couple of months. It's been a couple of months since it's happened. So it's gotten more solidified. Yet 
Yeah, it has. The host, and I am a teacher and trying to catch up with cleaning and have been been watching your videos on YouTube. I'm hoping you might have a suggestion. Quit binge watching my videos. You can watch one and then stop and get up and do something. Or you can watch one question. Just as if you're watching this, watch one question and then get up and go do something. Use the videos as a reward, not a binge. Binging is not good. So the shelves are probably adjustable. That means you lift them up and they come out of two little slots and they come out. Now, don't turn it over. It could break free. And what you're going to need to do is soak the shelf to release the, the glue that has been spilt in there. It doesn't matter what it was, if it was any sugar based or, I mean, I have had turkey juice seep around mine, but lift it out, go to the sink, have a sink full of hot soapy water and put part of the shelf in it, you may have to rotate it all during the day and keep putting fresh hot water in there and it will release the glass. But you got to be careful. You got to be careful and know that it's not made into the frame. It will lift out, but it got glued in with a spill. And so please be careful with this. I don't want you to get hurt. And I don't want you to break the glass. There's usually tempered glass. So it probably break in a million pieces. But be careful. And my sister Patty had an idea this morning. Take a wet dish rag, hot soapy dish rag, and lay over it. But I would take the shelf out. If you want to just lay it on the kitchen counter and lay the dish towel on it. And then gently turn it over, holding the glass and flip it over because it will come out of there. It'll either slide out or whatever. But you'll get it, you'll get it loose. You will get it loose. Number 13, I am grateful for your wisdom, especially your musing on emotional clutter. Thank you for your love and support. This is from Jennifer in Ohio. Thank you, Jennifer. It, it, you know, it feels good to help people and to be recognized. But that's, you know, that's, I don't live for your applause. I don't, I don't, I'm not here for the clicks or the likes or anything like that. I'm here to help you get your home in order so that you can be who you're supposed to be for the Lord. Yeah. I know you don't believe me. I know you don't believe me. But when you get your house clean and you keep it clean and it stays clean, that's chaos gone. You have, you have evicted the devil from your house because the devil uses your disorganization. Your disorganization your perfectionism to mess up your purpose. He'll do anything he can. And if you don't believe me, read C.S. Lewis. Read C.S. Lewis, the screw tape letters. You can recognize the devil at work or his demons, or his army trying to destroy your home. And you can, you can nip it in the bud. You can rebuke. All you got to do is say, be gone in the name of Jesus. You can do this. We're getting some great testimonials now. So y'all, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And don't click off because I'm going to start praying. Don't click off. Just listen. Just listen. If you can't pray with me, just close your eyes and listen. That's all I ask. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much 
for the love that you show us every single day, for the gifts you give us for our homes, the food in our pantry. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you for sending your son to die for us on the cross. Thank you for the beautiful weather that we've had. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the wind because it gets the limbs out of the trees. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for everything you do for us. Keep us safe from evil. Help us to learn to pray, Lord. The Lord's prayer is so powerful. Thank you, Lord, for having Jesus teach us this prayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. These things, all these things I ask in Jesus' holy name, make our homes our sanctuary, Lord, so that we can have people over and have Bible studies in our church because one day we may need to do that. Thank you for giving us our own testimony for you, Lord. All these things we ask in your son's holy name. Amen and amen. So y'all be good, kind, and sweet. I'll catch you back here at three o'clock. It's been a good Good question and answer session. And y'all held on. Look, we got 170 people in here. And before the day's over with, there'll be a thousand. So y'all take breaks. When you listen to one question, then go on to the next one. Then get up and do something. See y'all later. And I thank the Lord. For me not having computer problems this morning. I thank him. That's my praise report. I love you all. I'm trying to find out how to. That they move things around on me. I don't know why they do that. You know, do y'all know why they do that? Okay. We're going to end the stream. Y'all come back at 3 o'clock. Don't forget about our